Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at um, Wyeck physics question on dimensional analysis. We're we'll trying to solve some Wyeck questions on dimensional analysis. Now, this question here says the velocity v of a wave in a stress string depends on the tension t in the string and the mass per unit length. Uh, you have that symbol there. That's gamma of the spring. Full stop. Obtain an expression for V in terms of T. That's the tension. And um, gamma. That's your mass per unit length. Using the method of dimensions. Alright. Let's get this done please. So this is a question on dimensional analysis. How do we solve this kind of question? Now the first thing you have to do is. To write out the given parameters. The first thing there says the velocity of a wave so the first parameter given there v velocity that's equal to the dimension for velocity the dimension for velocity now what do we know we know that velocity v is equal to displacement which is a length all over time that's t if you write this one here in index form it's equal to l t to the power minus one this becomes the dimension of velocity so hence v is equal to l t to the power minus one next up they said um, of a wave in a stress string depends on the tension so the second parameter i'm giving there tension t is equal to let's get the dimension for tension tension is simply the force that acts on a stress string so hence it means that tension and force has the same dimension. I know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if that's true, dimension for mass is capital M times for acceleration, the dimension is L T to the power minus two. If I combine this, I'm having M L T to the power minus two. So I'm having dimension for tension as m l t to the power minus 2. By the way, if you don't understand how we got this thing here, we've already treated this in a previous class. So if you want to get the full tutorial video on how this works, just simply check the description of this video. I'll leave a link to a full tutorial course on dimension. All right, let's continue with this. The next thing there says mass per unit length, which is gamma. So they give us gamma here. Yeah? as equal to now we are told gamma has been equal to mass per unit length means mass over length mass is capital m length is capital l if i write this in index form that's equal to m l to the power minus one so my dimension becomes m l to the power minus one all right i think that's all the parameters we are given here. Alright, so if so, we can now proceed to solving this. So I've said, if you don't understand how we got this one here, we've discussed this in our previous classes. I'll leave a link to the description. I'll leave a link to um, the tutorial video on dimensions and dimensional analysis in the description of this video. So just check the description. You'll see um, the link to that full tutorial class. Let's proceed with this. Alright, so our next tag here says, um, after getting, so your first tag when it comes to questions on dimensional analysis is to get out the parameters given and their dimension. So after getting this out, what next? Next up, you have to look for that particular parameter in which other parameters depend upon. To get that parameter, you have to read your question carefully. Now check, the question says, the velocity of a wave in a stress string depends on so it is the velocity that depends on others so if that's so it means that velocity depends on this and this to write dependency in mathematics we use um directly proportional okay so that means vel velocity is directly proportional to tension this and um, mass per unit length this all right 
All right, so I'm having this because velocity depends upon the tension and the mass per unit length. At this point, what next do we do? Um, we have to take this off. To take off proportionality sign in mathematics, we said you would replace it with equal to and add a constant. So replace this with equal to, I have that V is equal to add a constant K and then T dot gamma. If this is gamma, not y. It's called okay. Gamma not what not, not y. So what next? At this point, assume the tension. Sorry, at this point, assume the constant um, to be one. All right. So it's more like saying you can ignore the constant here. So I'll ignore the constant and just work with this one here. So it means that v is equal to t dot this. So I have this. Okay. So what next here? At this point now. All right. So at this point here, what next? You'd add uh, what's it called? Superscripts. The superscripts here would be x. Here would be y. So these are the steps. Okay. After you ignore constant, you add superscript to this x and then y. At this point now, I will now introduce constant. Sorry, introduce dimensions. I will now introduce dimensions. For v, my dimension is. L t to power minus 1 is equal to, for t, my dimension is m l t to power minus 2. All of this takes this part here, which is x dot for gamma or mass per unit length. You can see dimension is m l to power minus 1 and then y. So we have this. All right. So, dimension for tension is this all to power x. Dimension for mass per unit length is this all to power y. So, at this point, what next? I will expand my bracket. So, this becomes here is lt to power minus 1 is equal to multiply this m to power x becomes m to power x. The power here is 1, so it becomes m to power x. Next up, take l becomes l and this becomes the part here is 1, so it becomes L to power x. So L to power x. Next, from having T, the part here is minus 2. Minus 2 times x gives you T to power minus, minus 2x dot m times y gives you m to power y dot L times minus 1y gives you L. Minus 1 times y is minus y. So I have this. All right. My next task is to All right. So my next task is to rearrange this in terms of M, L and T. Rearrange this one here, the right hand side in terms of M, L and T. So I have L T to power minus 1 is equal to Take the m's first so i have two m here m to power x and then m to power y so it becomes m to power x dot m to power y so i'm done with m that's off my next tax arrange the l's so i have this one here so it becomes l that's dot l to power x dot this one here l to power minus y finally arrange t's so dot, I have only one value for t. So t to power minus 2x. So I have this. All right. So if you're done with this, our next task will now be um, using the idea of indices, which says that uh, the index law says that if two bases, same bases are multiplying, simply add their parts. So hence, I have l t to power minus 1 is equal to this is m and m multiplying. I will add up their paths. So it becomes m into x plus y. So x plus y dot get l. So I have l. So it becomes x plus minus y. Plus minus is minus. So it becomes x minus y. So I'm having x minus y. And then I have t here. So it becomes t into minus 2x. So minus 
x. So I have this. All right. At this point now, our next task will be to compare paths. All right. So comparing comparing index. So you can say index or path. The same thing. Let's start with m. For m. Look at the left hand part of the equation. There is no m, so it means the power is zero equal to. Look at the right hand side of the equation, which is this. You can see that the power of m here is x plus y. So I have x plus y. This is my first equation. Next up, for l, for l, what do I have? For the left hand side of my equation, the power of l here is one. So I have 1 is equal to, for the right hand side of the equation, the power of L is x minus y. So I'm having x minus y. Call this the second equation and then check for t. For t, for my left hand side, let's say for t, for my left hand side of the equation, for t I have minus 1 as a power being equal to, for t here, the power is minus 2x so minus 2x this becomes my third equation so when i compare the paths i'll now have about three equations sometimes four depending on the number of variables i'm given all right so having said that what next from equation one two three we have of course in this equation we have two variables which are x and y so we have to find the value of x and y from this if you look clearly there's an equation for which we can easily get x, and that's equation 3. So, therefore, from equation 3, we have that minus 1 is equal to minus 2x. To get x, I'll divide here by minus 2, divide here by minus 2. This cancels this. I'm having x, so x is equal to, this cancels this. I have 1 over 2. I've gotten the value of 1 over 2. So my next task would be put the value of x either into equation 1 or equation 2, and I'll have the value for y. All right, let's use from 1. So put x into equation 1. From equation 1, we have that 0 is equal to x plus y. So x plus y. Put x here, 0 is equal to x is 1 over 2 plus y. Move this over here. So, moving this is positive. Coming over here becomes negative. Minus 1 over 2 is equal to y. We've gotten x as 1 over 2 and y as minus 1 over 2. Alright, so I'll put the value of x and y into this equation here. So we said v is equal to t to the power x dot gamma to the power y. That means v is equal to t to the power x. x is 1 over 2 dot gamma to the power y. y is minus 1 over 2. At this point now, you can now choose to bring in your constants if you want to. So you can add k dot here. Alright, so you first of all omit your constant and do your solving. After solving, you now bring back your constant. That's after you've gotten your value for your x and y. Bring back your constant. All right, so we have this. Let's properly express this um, in mathematical sense. So v is equal to k dot d to the power 1 over 2. In indices, we said a to the power 1 over 2 is equal to square root of a. So that means this becomes the square root of t tension dot. I'm seeing negative here. To eliminate the minus here, I'll take inverse. So it becomes inverse of gamma to the power 1 over 2. So to take off this minus here, I'll take 1 all over. So I have this one here. All right. So we just said that if I have something raised to the power 1 over 2, it's equal to the square root of that thing. So hence, this is equal to, this becomes, I'll take this off and put the square root of gamma. Alright, if I multiply this, V is equal to 
this times this times 1 that's k root c all over this root gamma so i have this from the idea of indices we said root a over root b is the same thing as square root of a over b so i can put this in the same square root sign if this is true then it means that v is equal to k times the square root of tension c all over mass per unit length gamma so i have this so this becomes the required relationship between the um, velocity the, the velocity of the um, wave on the string the tension on the string and the mass per unit length so this is how we solve this question um if this is bulky so this is how we solve this question we've already done a full tutorial video on how to do dimensions and dimension analysis to watch our two uh, our full tutorial video simply watch this video or click on the link in the description i'll drop the link to a full tutorial video in the description of this video all right then see you in the next class